When patients start to hurt, they, uh, they often wonder what, when's the right time to have an operation. And, um, and though these operations are extremely successful, they carry significant risks, especially if they're done incorrectly. Um, we pride ourselves on doing the operation as well as it can be done here. But, uh, but I encourage every patient to do all they can to avoid surgery until their, their life or their, um, their job are threatened by their dysfunction. Initially, we encourage patients to um, uh, look at their shoes, think about what kind of shoes you're wearing, and try to wear shoes that provide padding and cushion because these help protect your joints and decrease the discomfort that your joints feel. Um, secondary, we, uh, we start to encourage people to take uh, over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen or Aleve. Uh, afterward, sometimes patients will require uh, prescription doses of these medications. They're very, very helpful at suppressing inflammation, but as patients get older, they start to potentially injure kidneys or cause uh, stomach irritation or even ulceration. So that limits how long you can use these medications. When patients start to um, reach the limits of what an anti-inflammatory can do, um, we often do uh, cortisone injections into the, both the hip and the knee joint. But when, the, when patients are no longer responding to the anti-inflammatory medicines, when the cortisone injections are no longer helping, when shoe improvements have not done the job, when patients are starting to have trouble with pain at rest, and even having difficulty sleeping at night, that becomes the time that we start to think uh, about hip and knee replacement surgery. I want to make sure that the, um, uh, both the physical examination and the radiographic examination correspond with the complaints that the patient has to make sure we're doing the right operation to get the patient the maximum benefit. But um, when these operations occur, Again, we do all we can to do them as perfectly as possible, and we educate the patient so they can uh, do the best to take care of the joint in the immediate post-operative period in order to optimize their outcome.